a Muslim by faith, but married to a Christian who is also a pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Tinubu's tremendous respect for the Christian's community delivered great values in terms of services to the promotion of Christianity, especially when he was the governor of Lagos State. If you go to your doctor and they want to take blood sample, do you ask whether that nurse is a Christian or a Muslim? Blood they take from your vein is the same blood they take from my vein. Blood is blood. It's only the DNA that will be different. And if you are at the point of death, you have no way of certainty, ascertaining whether the blood transfusion that they giving you is that of a Christian or a Muslim? All you want is your survivor. Don't let anybody lead you to polarization and division in a country that is so unique in its content, character, and makeup. We must recalibrate our political consciousness and intentionally rise above religious fanatism. Let's rate competence and fairness above all the profession of faith. We are one and one Nigeria, and we should be proud of our green back. That is the passport. In fact, if I have my way, I will bring back our old uh, first national anthem. That describes us much, much better. I don't know why uh, we change it. It's about service. It's about diversity. It's about commitment, the value and nation building. Go and look at it. If we serve well, we get the reward. It's in your hand. Me, my claim is left for you to remain the fact and believe in the fact that our changes in faith, diversity in nature, culture, and languages should be used for our prosperity. I'm married to a pastor. And when I'm at home, she's the boss. We have two bedside lamps. One with Bible, the other one with my Holy Quran. We were arguing about our, one of our daughters and asked me to warn her because she bears my mother's name, Habibat. But she will refuse to go to church. She said she's on her own. Only when she likes, she will go to church with her mom. She can go to another church if she like, doesn't like. She can follow me to mosque. She's just independent. I told my wife, why don't these two books fight? If they don't fight, why should we be fighting on our daughter? Let her go away. She really wants it and wants to live her life. I've never seen the two books, two only books, change their position and quarrel. In the same bedroom. Then my wife was uh, ordained a pastor. I was there. Pastor Adeboe gave me Abraham. I said, what's the meaning? He said, watch out, the father of nation. Please kindly listen to the testimony of two major men from the Christian community about the attitude of Asiwaju Bola Ametunumbu towards the promotion of the Christian faith. And I must thank Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's done very much in fostering Christian 
Muslim relationship in spite of the tensions in larger Nigeria. It was our present Vice President, Pastor Yemi Oshibaju at the time, who muted the idea of uh, an annual uh, Christmas or New Year Thanksgiving in Lagos State, sold it to Ashwaju. Ashwaju embraced it and right there on the grounds of Lagos State Government House, I think it was in the year 1990, uh, 2000, I think it was in the year 2000, January, that the very first uh, Thanksgiving service w w w was conducted. And since then, it's been a tradition in Lagos State to have an interdenominational Thanksgiving service. In Government House, when Ashwaju was there, there was a chapel to one side, there was a mosque to the other side, right there in Government House. Raji Fashola Babatunde continued it. In fact, at the time, I used to laugh at both of them. I called Ashwaju Abraham. I called <laughs> Babatunde Fashola Isaac, you know, when that transition uh, uh, took place. And uh, the whole place erupted into laughter. Okay, And they both took those names, even till tomorrow. When I see Babatunde Fashola, he calls me Isiaka in return. Uh, and I say, no, Isaac. They say, you are Isiaka. And of course, Ashwaju is our, our Abraham. He started, uh, actually asked uh, the governor that we should do a, a Christmas carol service okay. at the State House. Uh, his wife, uh, the uh, now Senator uh, Mrs. Olure Mitsumu, okay. she was very supportive of the idea of a Christmas carol service in the State House. This was 1999 Christmas, just as we came. And we came into office in May. So I spoke to Ashwaju about it and he agreed that we could have a Christmas carol service at the State House on the lawn of the State House in Marina. And I then spoke to uh, Pastor Esco. Pastor Esco uh, was uh, now, of course, uh, also uh, gone to be with the Lord. He, he was pastor of City of David, okay. and was like a supervising pastor for my own province at the okay. time. I was pastoring at the same, I was pastoring a church. While I was attorney general, I was pastoring <laughs> Jesus Center in Ikoi, okay. uh, Redeemed Christian Church of God, Jesus Center in Ikoi. So Pastor Esco was like supervising pastor, and he was very keen on the whole idea of a Christmas carol, and came, you know, said, we'll take care of it, you know. So even for the first few years of the Christmas carol, which later became the Thanksgiving, it was uh, Pastor Esco and the city of David that paid for setting it up and for doing all of that. Of course, eventually the state government took it up. Mm. And from 1999 to the present day, there's always been a service, a Thanksgiving service, mm. every year. Mm. And it turned out to be very an important event, yeah. uh, an important spiritual event, yeah. and also an important um, uh, social and public event for the state. It's mm. it become bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. Under uh, Governor Fashola, he moved, he moved it to Ikeja. Mm the new grounds in Kedja, huge massive ground, more and more people came and uh, Governor Ambode has also increased, uh, the, not just the size of it, but also uh, the ambience and, you know, the, the, the general organization of it. I think it's just grown, you know, uh, just grown. Of course, uh, Pastor Etua uh, was, worked with, uh, with me on, we were masters of ceremonies. Okay, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and I were masters of ceremonies. <laughs> Almost, in fact, up until I was, I think the last, I was Master of Ceremonies up until 2014. It was uh, when we started the campaign that okay. I thought it may no longer be tenable, <laughs> my position may no longer be tenable, but he's continued since. He's continued, so he was very active. How will Nigeria develop? How do we banish hunger? How do we improve the security? and eliminate killing of one another, shedding blood of innocent citizens. That's what we must take to the office, not our religion. My intention is clear, not on religiosity. My intention is to develop this country, to bring prosperity. Why do we want to stay divided? I'm standing before you. And I have the right to claim that I am one of the best friends of the Christian community in this country. Let's develop an intellectual inclusiveness to build an understanding which way 
Nigeria. I believe in one Nigeria. We can make it if we try. I believe we can be people who truly serve our fatherland. I believe that all the labor of our here is not in vain. I believe. I believe. I believe we have in us everything. City. And I believe we have the power to rebuild a broken world. I believe, I believe. I believe that all the fears and worries soon will all be gone. I believe that we can set a standard for all the world to see. I believe that we can serve a nation with love and unity. I believe that our hopes and dreams